Hi, booktubers. So I made a blog post yesterday about um, my book recommendations for mostly my friends and whoever happens to stumble upon my blog. Because I had, uh, had some of my friends ask me to recommend books for them. So I thought, well, why not just put that in a blog post? And through that, I have realized a lot of my books are uh, children, or not children's books, but they can be found in the juvenile section of libraries because that was mainly what, I mean, that's what I've read. Uh, I'm really just now, in the last year or so, gotten into actually um, reading young adult or adult fiction books. So I am almost 20 years old and I am just getting out of my juvenile book comfort zone. So I did have a lot of those, but I've read a lot of other young adult books in the last uh, little bit. So this video is going to be my juvenile book younger reads. And just because they're very easy reads doesn't mean that I don't still love them and that they're not good books. Um, so I still recommend these books even if it's you just need a little light fluffy read that will take you like an hour to read. It's still really good and that's why it's on this list. So first book on my list is Voices After Midnight by Richard Peck. Um, really any book by Richard Peck is amazing. My mom and I read um, A Year Down Yonder and A Long Way from Chicago. I don't think I have that one on my shelf right now. Um, but we read those, laughed so hard reading these books. I mean they're, t they're tiny and there are not very many pages, but they're so hilarious. And this Voices After Midnight, if you like historical fiction um, and kind of time travel sort of, it's such, it's so different than his other books that he's written that I just, I love it. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. And I suggest you read anything by Richard Peck. Um, I also love Fairweather. Um, the uh, thing that Here Comes the Librarian or something about a librarian is also really, really fantastic. If you love dogs, A Dog's Life by Anne M. Martin will completely shatter your heart and you just, oh, just the intro. I need to just make, I need to reread this and make a video specifically about this book. It's one of my favorite books in the entire world. Um, I, oh, it's, it's such a sad, sad book, but it has a good ending, so you don't have to worry about it's going to be, you know, I had to shoot the dog because it doesn't happen. Next one is Half Magic by Edward Eager. This one is one of my favorite. I reread this one all the time just because it's so fun. It just has the feel of, um, like, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or um, Phantom Tollbooth type genre of, of children's books. And it's just these, child these uh, siblings' summer adventure through magic and um, their love of books and I mean that's what that's why I always love this is because it's summer and so they have all these books that they read and it gives them all these ideas and um, inspiration to what they do with this magic that they find. Next one is The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. This one is a Newbery Medal Award winner. Um, it's one I read and I've had my grandma read. I just I love this book. It's it's a mystery and it's very, it was, when I first read it, it was very tough. I had to read it two or three times. The third or fourth time I read it, I was finally understanding what exactly happened. So although it is a children's book, it is one that makes you think a little bit. You have to figure out the mystery for yourself. And when you're done with it, you think, wait, what? And then you reread it to figure out all the stuff that just happened. One of my other all-time favorite books is The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster. Um, I love this book. It's so literal and I love the movie. I need to find this movie on Amazon because it's one of my favorite movies and how they do it and it's favorite, favorite book. Next one is Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. I, oh my goodness, I remember reading this with my mom. I just think it's so adorable and I love and I like the movie too. The movie's really cute. Um, but I just oh, it just has really good homeschool memories of reading with my mom. The next two I don't have with me. Um, one of them is in my sister's room um, but one of them is Bridge to Terabithia. I loved this book when I first read it. I 
I remember I was sitting in my floor in the corner in my room bawling. I had to set the book down and cry because it just it was one of the first books that I remember crying in because I didn't used to cry in books and now it just I open I turn the page and just ugh, I cry because I had to turn the page. It's so many emotions with books but Bridge to Terabithia was the first book I remember breaking my heart and I hated the movie. I still hate the movie. I will not. I don't want to think about the movie because it made me so mad. Um, the other one that I don't have with me is um, I have I have the whole collection of the Chronicles of Narnia all in one book and I love them. I've re I read Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe first and then I got this collection and started reading them all over and The Magician's Nephew is my favorite. If you don't read any of the other ones because I have not finished them. I've had it for years and I've never read through all of them. I stopped somewhere in the middle of Don Treader, but I have them all on audiobook, so I've listened to them all. But absolute favorite is The Magician's Neck. I love the how Narnia was created and I love all the concept of the different worlds in the wood and I wish that, you know, I always think, well, what would have happened if they'd gone into a different pond and my mind, I want someone to write, I need to write that or read it or something, I don't know. When I was a kid, my absolute favorite books series for the longest time. The first books that I ever really remember reading that were actually long-ish books were Nancy Drew books. Um, I have almost 30 of them uh, and I've read more than that, gotten them at the library. And my favorite that I would recommend, if I had to recommend just one, it is number 22, The Clue in the Crumbling Wall. I just always love this one and I've read this one multiple times. Uh, some of them actually did really scare me. I rem I covered, there's probably, there's still tape on it. Um, this cover used to scare the crap out of me from The Secret in the Old Attic. So I had, I covered it up because I didn't like this, this skeleton hand on there. But those are my children's recommendations. And even if you're 40 years old and you still like to read, read these books because they're still my favorites, whether I'm, there be, they're, below my reading level or not. And I will at some point make a video for my young adult slash adult fiction reads. Not all of them are fiction, but almost all of them are. So it's close enough. And have a great day. If you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments or on my blog or however you would like to tell me about books. Um, I definitely have way more recommendations, pretty much everything on the shelf I love. But if, you know, you liked some of the ones that I've talked about and you say, okay, I liked this, what are some other ones? I will probably have some really good recommendations based on that. I'm just like Netflix, but for books.